Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over element methods. Um, before I do, I changed the screen a little bit. So what I did was went into preferences, themes, and I changed, I think I changed it to Adam Dark. I think I changed it to something because it looks a little bit better from before. Um, again, I personally don't really care what this looks like. I, I go either way. It doesn't really bother me one way or the other. But what I've noticed when reviewing this is that it might be difficult for you to read this because it's just difficult to read in general. Now, I'm sitting really close, and this is not through a video. So I, I don't mind either way. If it bothers you, if you don't, if you can't read it whatsoever, please leave a comment in the comment section. Make some suggestions. I'm completely open. Again, it doesn't matter for me, but if it does for you, I'll be happy to change it. So um, I think it's a little easier to read right now, although the doc type is very, very difficult for me to read right now. Um, but let me know um, if it is an issue for you. OK, um, so what we're going to go do is go over certain elements themselves, the main elements. Now, there's a number of different types of elements, and the main types I like to consider are the and there are tons as you uh, hopefully you, you went at least through a little bit of the W3 schools. There is the div and the input elements themselves. Now, I'm saying this as examples of concepts, okay? So the div element, this is, remember like I, I said before, a web page is like a wall where you put a bunch of pictures and a bunch of stuff on your wall, right? Now, what if you said, okay, I want some pictures on this side and I want it separated and then I want all the pictures with me fishing are on this area and all the pictures with me and my dog I want on this area. So you're probably not going to actually draw a line on the wall. Okay, so it's not a graphical thing. It is, it's not a graphical object. It's more of a, a, a distinction, a separation where you the the fishing pictures and the doggy pictures are in a separate location but but they're also conceptually separate if, if that makes sense so so they're also they're separate in the content as well as their location so those types of elements like a for example a div element is not actually rendered as some object but it's an understood object there nevertheless it's it truly is a line that's separating you just don't see the line okay so those those types of elements and then you have the for example input element where you actually see something on the screen so this would include a little bit of everything this will also I'll, I'll throw in the the pictures the images and stuff like that they're completely not the same of course but at the same time just as a concept there are the graphical types of um, elements and there are the um, separation type of elements themselves okay if I can grossly separate into those two I'm probably missing a couple of different concepts there but those are the the super high levels for them okay when we talk about the I'm going to use as an example like a div element okay so you have a div element right here you have to close the div element you can have different um, types um, on here also so we'll say ID equals div and when you do main dot dart let's get rid of this from the last video we'll say um, uh, div element um, first one equals document right dot query select selector pound sign div right we could say first one and then we have methods what are the types of methods that you can do well the main ones that we'll deal with right now are things that you can actually put things on okay remember I mentioned that elements are also nodes right and what are nodes by just general definition nodes are things upon which you attach other things okay so that, that was kind of a very non-specific okay let's put it this way let's just say for example you have a ball and on this ball a ball of yarn you have all these threads connected to this ball of yarn what a node is is where you have a bunch of things like threads connected into a certain place 
Now, what does that make it? How does that matter here? If you have a wall uh, and you say, put the picture on there. Remember what, what we talked about before. You put a picture somewhere and then everything else can be on the wall with respect to that. Okay, so with a div element, there is a invisible picture there, but you can uh, attach a another picture onto that invisible picture because that is the node itself. Okay, so first one, that's the object. Attach onto that, you could put something like text and equals hello world. All right, so if we look at the code, you're going to have a div element, you're going to have an input element below it. But above it, right here, the text is going to be hello world. So it's going to be hello world above the input element. Got that? Okay. The other option, some people talk about putting inner HTML. It's I'm not going to use this as much because mostly it's going to be text. And what what the difference is in our HTML, this is actually an HTML element. Text can be, well, they're not elements, but but they're they're actually um objects on an HTML page. So if you put something like um input like here, this actually needs to be in quotes okay we'll save that and it'll actually create an input element okay so the difference between inner HTML because that's how I originally learned it is that you can actually put text here but inner HTML is intended for an actual HTML element whereas text actually is for truly text. So what's this going to do? This is going to print out the input. See the input itself. Okay. So that's one aspect of the, um, the div input itself, bunch of different um, options right inside of here. We can have, let's go back here. In input element equals no I'm sorry input element input equals query selector number I think that's what it was right number and this one particularly we can have different methods here so input dot value type whether it's checked or not so we have a bunch of different things mostly so and again the the syntax is here's the object here's the method in and of itself so we're many many times we're going to get the value sometimes we could put other things onto it itself all um uh as well we could put other values other than value that's what i meant and we will go over those in the future. But I just wanted to review those real quickly in this video before we go on to the next one. Okay? Thank you.